Today we're going to talk about ratchet straps and cam buckles. They're used to haul various types of cargo and come in various sizes from one inch on upwards to four inches in width. The ratchet strap comes with many fittings, chain extensions, D-rings, E-track fitting, E-track double stud fitting, F-track hook and spring E fitting, flat hook, flat snap hook, J hook with D-ring, S hook, and vinyl coated wire hooks. Polyester webbing is used for cargo securement because it's low stretch rate. It's also very abrasion resistant. Now we're going to show you how to thread a ratchet strap. First open the ratchet a little bit so you have access to the take up spool. Now you slide the strap through the spool and bring it right back over on itself. At this point pull on the strap to remove the excess slack. Once all the slack is removed, you can start to ratchet the tension you want, keeping the strap straight. Once you have reached your desired tension, lock the ratchet down in its closed position. To release the strap, open the ratchet all the way so it lays completely flat. Once it is flat, it's in the release position. Go ahead and pull your strap all the way out. In some cases, you may not need the strength of a ratchet strap. In those cases, you would use a cam buckle. Cam straps come with various fittings, butterfly fittings, E-track fittings, F-track hook and spring E-fittings, handlebar straps with S-hooks, flat snap hooks, and S-hooks. Cam buckles typically come in one and two inch sizes. Now we will thread a cam buckle. Turn the cam buckle over and thread your strap back through while pressing the thumb release. While pressing the thumb release, pull the strap to your desired tension, then release. To remove the strap, press the thumb button and simply pull the strap. You don't have to pull the strap completely out, just enough so that you can get to your cargo. In choosing between a ratchet strap and a cam buckle, it usually comes down to workload limit or how fragile the product is. If it's something light and fragile, I will go the cam buckle because I'm unable to over tension and possibly crush the product. Uh, if it's anything heavier than that, um, I would go with a ratchet strap. 